Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 news series. This is where I fill you guys in on all of the latest information and news on Red Dead Redemption 2 towards its release. So today we've got some very big news. This is an absolutely huge rumour um, and actually was highlighted by Xenox on Twitter. So let's first of all take a look at this leak. So this user says, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be just like Redemption. It'll have a single player story, an open world, stranger events, gang hideouts, and all that shit. And this next part is actually some absolutely massive news. It will have three playable characters of John's former gang, and John isn't one. He then went on to say that the online mode will release later on, just like with GTA 5. If it came out day one, nobody would play the single player, and you fucks would crash the servers. So we'll talk a little bit about the legitimacy of this post in just a second, but first of all, let's talk about this news. So the fact that there could be three playable characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 is absolutely huge news. I actually did not expect this at all. I was quite certain there would only be one playable character similar to the first game, and I actually suspected it was the main character in the center front of the teaser image and also the character that was shown in the trailer. You know, there was a mysterious character that was shown throughout the trailer and also matches the description of the centerpiece character. I was kind of under the impression that this would be our main protagonist in Red Dead Redemption 2. So the information that was leaked here is actually kind of consistent with what we've seen so far from Rockstar. You know, in Rockstar's teaser image, there are characters in there that very much resemble characters of Dutch's gang. For example, we've got this character that looks almost identical to Bill Williamson. We also had Bill Williamson's voice actor character recently join Twitter as soon as Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced. So it'll be interesting to see if this is true, what members of John's former gang will we be actually playing? Will it be characters that we have seen in Red Dead Redemption, such as Dutch or Bill Williamson, or will it be um, completely new characters that we haven't met before? From what I've seen online so far, people discussing this news actually much seem to favour having one main character over having three. I think in GTA 5 a lot of people found that the kind of the story elements of each character, you know, the story arc of that character wasn't built up enough um, when you're spreading your playtime between three characters compared to say a GTA 4 experience or a Red Dead Redemption experience where you're playing as just one character. You know, we had an, an absolutely amazing bond when we are playing John Marston or when we were playing Nico Bellic in GTA 4. When you're playing through it, a whole game as one character, you get much more emotionally uh, invested into your gameplay. So next up I wanted to talk a little bit about the legitimacy of this post. It was actually posted way back in October and it only really kind of blew up now because the same person that leaked this was actually the main leaker of the last GTA 5 DLC. So the latest DLC to hit GTA Online was called Import and Export and the person actually um, leaked all of this information several weeks before this DLC was released is actually the same person that posted this leak about Red Dead Redemption 2. So I did some digging and actually found this guy's original leaks for import and export and he did actually give a lot of information. This guy either has a very reliable inside source at Rockstar or he actually definitely works at Rockstar himself because a lot of this information is very, very classified. I also found this post from him. Someone asked him what he does at Rockstar and he actually replied and confirmed that he currently works there as of October 2016. He didn't actually specifically say what he does at Rockstar because what he's doing is actually very, very, probably illegal actually, and if he was ever found out or gave any sort of hints to what department he's in, he would most definitely lose his job and probably have some pretty serious consequences. Now obviously the username that this guy uses could actually be used by anybody, however the characters after his username, this is his kind of unique URL of um, his user, so this actually completely matches the Red Dead Redemption 2 leaks um, that went up several months ago. So this does actually confirm that it is the same person. So let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments. Obviously these are leaks and nothing is officially confirmed until Rockstar do so themselves. But I have a feeling that we will be getting some information soon. It's been actually quite a long time since we had the trailer and those sort of original teaser images from Rockstar. And there actually is a possibility that we might get some new information over Christmas, possibly a trailer or maybe more likely some screenshots. They actually did this for GTA 5. On Christmas Eve, Rockstar actually put up a whole bunch of teaser images um, showing kind of the main characters. As you can see in this image, there was uh, Michael, Trevor and Franklin right here. So these were the characters that were featured in one of the images that was shared on Christmas Eve. So it'll be interesting to see if Rockstar um, continue that Christmas gift this year with some Red Dead Redemption 2 teaser images. So that's all the Red Dead Redemption 2 news I got for you guys today. I'll put all of the sources down in the description if you want to check them out in more information. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoyed and subscribe. I'll be keeping you guys up to date with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 towards its release next year. 
Have yourselves an awesome day and I'll catch you in the next one.